I'm in a really large mess. Okay. You know, if murder is the number one crime, maybe rape is the number two crime, meaning in... in Severity. Yeah. I believe extortion is number three. We're pretty close. But then you start getting into conspiracy, destruction of public documents, mortgage fraud, controlling access to public roads, cops upon the payroll of the people causing all of this stuff. The incompetence of the prosecutors, the refusal to do their job, review evidence, and on down we go. It's just in 2020 alone, there has been 25 incident reports at my home. They've entered my home without a warrant 84 minutes before a judge authorized them to do this. There's multiple staged auto accidents, false reports of punching a teenage daughter and then calling the cops, and I, it's just absolutely out of control. And after, so this has been going on within one week of our home purchase, the theft of court evidence assisted by a non-reported IR of the BCSO after, so they're stealing court evidence after the lawsuits in process. Then the Bingham County surveyor relocates a section corner to fit the basis of their claim of the lawsuit. But then the public instruments end up missing and then, and it all ties back to the non-elected but appointed Custer County Prosecutor. The same man who threatened to shoot down an Idaho State Fair tour helicopter in 2019. The same man who grabbed two 14-year-old boys by the neck, drug them out of their mom's vehicle for not having State Fair admission tickets. But this same man is upon the fair board. He's the Robin Hood of Blackfoot. His name is Justin Blazer Olison. He, from the beginning until now, and I just made a lot of accusations, and I would not make those without proof. Okay. Um, I have been trying to deliver. I've been to the FBI building this morning. I've been to three different Bannock County sheriffs because the same prosecutor has through a court filing, which I'm trying to comply with. I'm trying to comply with the court rules of the Bannock County, of the certificate of service stating that I have delivered at the certain time. So I'm, I'm, I'm desperately trying to uphold the law. All right, so you, you come in here and you, you've basically thrown a lot of information at Correct. me. Correct. Okay. Um, I guess I need to try to wrap my head around what you're trying to accomplish here by coming to the Idaho State Police. Because let me, let me tell you, we're not the police of the other agencies. Sometimes people get that a little bit confused. Uh, in fact, you're the second person today that I've got to talk to about um, act, you know, different allegations about other agencies and their incompetence or something their officers are doing. So I, I guess, you know, I'll throw that out there to begin with, that we're not the police of the other policing agencies, okay? Um, so you have a complaint against the Custer County Prosecutor, Justin Olson. And I've filed a complaint with the Idaho State Bar okay. and the Idaho Attorney General. Okay. And the Idaho State Bar has found him not guilty of anything. Okay. 
And, you know, but realistically, what's one more liar in the chain? Because let's pretend that they do find him guilty. Mm -hmm. It'll be just like the Netflix show of there's a drug drug thing on Netflix about Massachusetts. and uh, I don't watch that. Yeah, I don't either, but someone <laughs> someone sent that movie to me. Okay. But basically him being in a in a state employed position as a prosecutor, then they'll have to go back and retry all of these cases. Okay. And so with so the Idaho have, State Power will lie. Okay. They will. So you have a complaint of wrongdoing against Justin Olson. Multiple wrongdoings, and there's okay. evidence in there. Okay. But I, I really want you to submit this to the FBI. Because the FBI, it's all of this chaos that's led by Justin Olison and supported by all of these people that I overloaded you with, uh -huh. reflect back to a parcel that is unchanged except on dimensions by Bryce Jolly of Harper Levitt Engineering. So with these embellishments that are accomplished through the illegal closure and delivery of an irrigation pathway have made the dimensions cross into a range and two sections that are not listed upon the title. So I suspect that by those actions and then those actions being used in a $350,000 federally financed FICA insured mortgage loan qualifies as the beginning of investigation for mortgage fraud. And the FBI specifically has a option for mortgage fraud. Okay, and I would assume that the FBI directed you to someone else other than the FBI. Correct. Okay, and what was their rationale? We can't accept your evidence. If you leave it here, I'm going to throw it in the trash. Okay. We take our evidence from the county sheriff of your area okay. or the state police and the state police covers the whole state. Okay. And the reason why you have not gone, well, it sounds like you've gone through Bingham County several times. Uh, you feel that they're corrupt. Is that what I'm getting at? I've been facing 40 years felony based upon ever growing and embellished charges uh -huh. that the prosecuting attorneys couldn't live by the law and have it obey the 150-day 7th District Special Rules, uh -huh. nor the 180-day statewide rules. And yet, from there, and that was May 10th of 2019, and it's gone full circle of a year, and the prosecutors refusing to in look at the innocence-proving evidence that was surrendered on time has now got a spitting on the t sidewalk equivalent misdemeanor in the Idaho Supreme Court in, under appeals. Okay. I, I, and so Craig Rowland has been involved. Mm -hmm. Before this was opened, I went to that building and spoke with Captain Daly, mm -hmm. Daly or Daly, depending mm -hmm. on, I, I might be pronouncing it wrong. It was Daly's family member, BCSO Daly, who was involved in the theft of court evidence after the lawsuits in process with Jeremy Hook, officer, uh, Sean Humphreys, and uh, Kendall. Uh, can't remember Kendall's first name. Through a vehicle and a laptop, bouncing Wi-Fi to a tractor parked next to my house, Bouncing into my house, they hacked the Wi-Fi router, accessed the home security cameras, and deleted the video evidence of multiple BCSOs being on site, tearing down and assisting a non-property owner in the theft of court evidence. I came to Captain Daly, and Daly's mind was blown almost similar that I'm assuming is starting to happen with you and I. And Daly says, I know Craig Rowland very well. Craig Rowland and I worked together for 22 years. Little did I know he was about to retire. Daly said, I'm not going to do a damn thing. Okay. So I explain to you why. Because it's his friend. Okay. And that's not justified. But... When the head nuts 
says, I'm not going to do a damn thing, there's nothing you can do. Well, the only reason I'm here mm -hmm. is because I've learned that he's retired and he's now out of the shit rolling downhill. Mm -hmm. And I've been praying that I can find a man with a spine and a man with integrity. And I hope that you're that answer. Well, I got some bad news for you. <laughs> okay. okay. You, this, is the, this is the problem that you face. Okay. You have reported this incident or incidents to the Bingham County Sheriff's Office, which is, I'm assuming you live in Bingham County. I do. Okay, so this is your police agency, okay? You've reported these incidents without an invitation by the Bingham County Sheriff's Office to come in and do a conflict investigation and have me take over their investigation. I am not going to do that. 